Not all mice are small and furry and create havoc when they run through your house. Sandra Katzman tells us of one type of mouse that's helped millions open the doors to the world of computers. I knew that you moved it around and I knew that it moved the cursor around and I knew that you clicked on things. It must have something on the bottom that makes it easier to move along a surface. It's got the same kind of ideas that the um, arrows on your keyboard have, but it has to have more ideas because it can go around in circles. Obviously switch contacts and wires uh, to determine where the ball is positioned. This is the story of the mouse that Jack built that broke the ice of the computer. Before the mouse, you could only communicate with computers by pressing a series of keys. Now the mouse is here. It is a small box connected with a wire to the computer. You move it on a pad which represents the computer screen. If you are writing something, pushing the button on the mouse shows where the next letter will go. You can also draw pictures with a mouse. In the early history of mousing, Jack Hawley, an independent inventor, was hired by the giant Xerox Corporation to make the mouse small enough and cheap enough to be practical. Well, I've been building mice since before the industry even knew what a mouse was. I even ran an ad, do you know what a mouse is? I'm not of a temperament to grow large, I just simply made a lot of dough and got out of it. In 1972, Xerox asked for a gizmo to get information more easily from the little box on wheels into the computer. An agreement then let Holly sell mice, and he is now a multimillionaire. He tells how mice made him rich. Because I charged an arm and leg for the mice, all the market would bear. When I first got my license, they sold for 750 bucks each, and they didn't have a case on them. And people bought them to experiment with their software because there was no other mouse available. Xerox took the better mouse and replaced the two perpendicular wheels with a ball. Then, Apple Corporation saw the Xerox ball mouse. They used it in 1983, the first successful popular use of the mouse. Holly thinks the days of the ball mouse are numbered. Ball mice are heading toward obsolescence. I recently patented and have licensed to two significant companies a new mouse geometry that has no ball, it doesn't even have wheels. Douglas Engelbart patented the first mouse. Holly made it affordable. Holly praises the man who conceived the device that made his good fortune possible. I believe that Engelbart, in his concept of a mouse, is probably the greatest contributor to user friendliness of anything I know. For High Plains News Service, this is Sandra Katzman.